Right, today we're going magnet fishing, something I wanted to do for a very long time. The courier is just about to deliver the uh, neodymium magnet and the grappling hook. And then once we've got that, we're rushing down to the boat and we're going out magnet fishing. That's my man. Right, this is a stainless steel grappling hook. I will post a link in the description below if you want one. And the neodymium magnet is a double-sided type and it's good for 150 kilograms on each side. Although they reckon you lose a lot of that power if it's a vertical or painted surface. Well, my first find was an old bike. And judging by the state of it, it looked like it had been in there for a very, very long time because all the spokes were corroded. Oh, I also found this when I was uh, pulling the bike out. Oddly enough, I think it's one of mine because um, I've done a lot of work on my boat at Stalhamstaith and there's always something that needs screwing back together and um, I'm pretty damn sure I've lost a few of these over the side. Well, I couldn't leave the bike there because it'll only get thrown back in the river and get wrapped around someone's prop, so I took it to the nearest available bin. found some snips, but I'm sort of expecting to find uh, fishing stuff. Next on the list was one of those steel rods you use for cording off areas and I just kept digging up loads and loads of scrap metal from the uh, original key headings. There was a 5p in there actually but somebody managed to nick it in the three or four minutes that rubbish was there. Just junk, pliers, knives, cutlery, metal rods, bolts, all that sort of junk. Stuff that's really of no value to anybody really. But this is my first go so I was quite pleased to find anything at all. Unfortunately, I managed to throw the rope in as well as the magnet, so I had to have a September swim, if you like, and jump in the pond and retrieve it. But I'm pretty sure nobody saw me. Well, I know one person did, but hey-ho, I think I got away with it somehow. I think one of those cheap action cameras on a selfie stick would be very handy for identifying stuff too. Right, so I've learned a few lessons today. One of them is to always tie the rope to your waist. A belt loops or something like that because uh, I've managed to get it all back out of the water now but it was a close one that and it would have been an expensive loss because it cost about 50 quid but great fun and I'm going to go somewhere now where it's less fished I suppose and hopefully we might find something a bit more interesting like some rond anchors or maybe a mud weight um, who knows so we're going to do that now 